Okay. So this commentary, I don't quite know what to call it. Let's call it the grounding for things like, well, actually what it is is group, group, the emergence of group survival strategies or survival strategies. But it really acts as the grounding for things like reciprocity as a moral foundation, property in total, which, pro which is property in all its forms. And it goes something along the lines of this. Organisms that are mobile, so that's to say something that's not a plant, have to seek opportunity to collect calories to stay alive. Okay, we have to eat or you know, move around to get sunlight. <clears throat> we need to seek what we call quite often the asymmetrical benefits um, to stay alive. And asymmetrical benefits just mean that the cost to acquire calories is less than the calories that you acquire. Uh, so, you, so the act of uh, acquiring asymmetrical benefits uh, is that you, if you're spending too many calories to acquire calories, you're eventually going to die. So this is our first premise. This is our starting block, that organisms must seek asymmetrical benefit to survive. Well, how do we do that? Mobile animals can move around. We can acquire things. Uh, and the effort that we expend uh, in acquiring, we could consider an investment. So we invest to seek these benefits, uh, and we do so uh, as a matter of survival. Now there, the next threshold up from that is that as a social animal, we work together to uh, acquire asymmetrical benefits. And there are three ways that we can do that together. I can, I can kill you and take your stuff like a predator, uh, or I can uh, latch onto you and suck blood out of you like a leech, a parasite. And in both of those cases, I'm, I'm gaining an asymmetrical benefit by reaping the benefits that you acquired through costs that you have incurred. So I'm offsetting my cost onto you uh, to gain those benefits. So both in, in predation and parasitism, it's offsetting the cost onto the other uh, to take the benefits for yourself. And then the, th the third option is sy symbiosis or cooperation, that we can work together, and in working together, we share the costs of, of investment. And when we work together, the benefits generally exceed uh, the, the combined labor that we put in, so a force multiplier. One plus one doesn't equal two, it equals two and a half. So those are the three main means uh, in terms of in interest specific interaction or interactions within the species that we can see maintain asymmetrical benefits to survive. We can predate, we can parasite, or we can cooperate. Okay. So we were talking at, in one of the other videos, I talk about property being a demonstrated investment. And I would throw in the tag, investment to the degree in which we will defend it. Well, why do we defend property? It's because we are seeking asymmetrical benefit. Uh, if we don't reap the benefit of the investment, it actually threatens our very existence. So when people get upset when you screw with their stuff, you're actually tapping directly into their survival instinct. And this is why people get so upset about it. So how do we prevent people from getting upset and, and resorting to protection and parasitism? Or how do we uh, uh, maintain conditions of cooperation? Well, that's where reciprocity comes in. If reciprocity and proportionality, if we're sharing costs, and sharing the benefits, if, uh, if we start threatening that criteria for asymmetrical benefit on one side of that equation, it's gonna give spark to conflict. And in giving 
a spark to, to conflict. We threaten the uh, exponential benefits that we gain from cooperation. We devolve back into a less effective strategy. Part of the reason why the benefits of cooperation is higher uh, than predation or parasitism is because the more successful a predator is, uh, the less prey there are available. The, the more successful a parasite is, the, the, the more health is injured to the host. So their benefits are capped. They're, they're capped uh, according, to, according to, the, to their main resource. Cooperation doesn't have that same cap. The, the more you cooperate, uh, the less uh, limits there are to the benefits you can reap. So this is why division of labor has worked well. This is why we survive in, in a social structure. Uh, we must live through social, uh, uh, through social systems, through uh, cooperative behavior, because we're a social animal. Uh, and then this is why over time, regardless of the society or the community or the circumstance, things like rules against theft or violence or property infractions eventually result. Uh, we're essentially following natural instincts. Okay, so I think that that covers off why people defend property. And I think that that also covers off why reciprocity is important. Reciprocity preserves the conditions of cooperation uh, to, uh, to prevent devolving back into less successful uh, strategies, survival strategies. And we defend property because it's innate in us to seek asymmetrical benefit to stay alive. 